I was able to get some straw bales, which is one of our main building ingredients. And it's pretty hard to get here because it's, it, it does not get produced here. Um, but some neighbors happened upon some of these and this is really not good for the cows to eat. It's not, it's not really nutritious. And we, we had bought in a bale of oats, of oats that were cut green, and we were gonna use that. But uh, we just swapped some. I just swapped one big one for three, three medium ones. And, uh, and now we have tons of straw to build with. The first uh, apricots of the season are getting ripe. We pick them like this because once they start turning yellow, the birds, the birds go for them, and then this is what happens. And we learned last year that they ripen pretty, pretty, pretty well, uh, even if we pick them like this. So I think most other ones are still pretty green. So we're gonna wait for them to turn a little bit yellow, and then pick them and. And this is such a treat. Eat them. And eat them, yes, Samuel. Um, You're gonna pick this one. Uh, 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 uh huh. I can have it. I'll hold it for you because yeah. there's more to pick over here. Look. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Pick this other one. Pick oh. this. Up. I'll pick it, that one up. The big one. Okay. Well, oh. Hi, I'm here doing a selfie video. I don't know if it will work. Um, I'm always behind the camera, so you don't get to see me a lot. Anyway, I want to explain that what I'm doing today, and I we got a good amount of a uh, garlic that comes from the town north it's called Arispe. And they, the our town is known for like growing a lot of garlic, good quality garlic, uh, pesticide free, organic, and local. So we got some bag, and I want to make today a tincture. And I we have a video of Seven making tinctures and explaining all about tinctures. So here it is. The have a lot of um garlic here and I'm gonna chop it up and put it in alcohol and that's it yeah we're gonna wait for a couple of weeks and to to get all the medicine out and then you can you can drink your your tincture like um, I don't know how like six drops um, three times a day it depends uh, maybe if you wanted like um for preventive you can do three to six uh, three to five times a day but if you have already like a cold or you're feel, feeling with a virus or something you can do it more um COVID is here it's still around so it's also good for like uh, your uh, busting your cis immune system and you can you can drink it preventive now that we are in COVID um era Hi, I'm finishing the the garlic tincture and I chop uh, the garlic I put um, the alcohol in okay and now in the last part I'm gonna shake it for like um, one minute and I am going to intention my medicine and just I didn't grow my garlic so it would be nice if I grew it, um, like put the intention there in the plant when I car cut it or harvest it. But I can I can do it right now and I can just um, full say to the plant uh, why do I want it to work with me. With plants you have to work with them. It's not like, it's not they're not just things to cut and harvest, no? You have to be connected a little bit more. So this is the... Uh, a way to connect with uh with the medicine is just to put an intention there like um um saying saying that thank you uh, gratitude towards it and to work together and so you can 
like take all of its benefits benefits to your body or something like that so i'm gonna take it like this for a minute okay there are parts of the great wall of china that are still standing today that are built with earth and straw and that is what we're using right here to make our mix that's called oregon cob which is a take on the traditional cob from England mainly in parts of Europe. It was used and still used. And what it is, it's a bunch of sand with some earth that is clay rich and the clay is basically binding all the sand particles together and it has long straw. In our case, we don't have that long of a straw to use, but we use what we have and the straw just gives it more tensile strength. And we just stomp it and roll it around in the, in the tarp to, to make it more homogenous. And you can build all kinds of structures with this. We're using it here mainly to just finish, uh, just merging our adobe wall into the, the thatch roof. And we're basically using it as a filler, but it's definitely still structural and it's a little bit a little bit like modeling clay a little bit like play-doh we're just putting it in there and just working it it's a bit of an awkward position to be working in this little cramped area usually you're working it with your whole body and you're really putting force down into it but we're doing the best we can here